Today, I'm going to be transplanting a tree. Now, this tree here, and I'm supposing that it is uh, honey crisp, which that's what the tree is beside us over here. Um, but anyway, this one come up volunteer. I don't know if uh, part of an apple or something got dropped. Now down here in the south, they say a honey crisp won't make apples. Well, a honey crisp will make apples. It might not make them every year, but it'll make apples. But anyway, this tree should have been moved already. Uh, I caught it here in the spring when I started mowing. Uh, I didn't catch it in the end of the year. And it was about this tall. Uh, now, as you can see, it has really grown and it's about 10 foot tall. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut this off probably about this high here. And I'm gonna dig this up. Now, when you're digging these up, uh, you can use your garden, your, your regular garden spade if you want. Uh, best is, is a sharpshooter because it can go deeper. And now, apple trees have tap roots. Now, I could dig around here a little ways out and catch a few of the feeder roots so it's got a few more. It might make it easier on transplanting it. But I really want to try to go deep so I can get a lot of that tap root. When you buy a tree... Uh, that's normally that tap root is normally not there if it's container grown or wherever once they put it into that container uh, the root stock that they've used doesn't have a tap root now this a lot of people say oh well it's not going to do real good because you don't know what kind of root stock it's going to have and this and that well i think it's doing pretty good already it's and it's uh, acclimated to my area so uh, what we're going to do is just dig this up and then we'll uh, prune it off being I don't have my pruners out here all right I got this dug up and uh, it didn't have any type of tap root on this so uh, we didn't damage it now we I dug about a three foot circle around it so so I've got about a foot and a half of roots on both sides and it looks like a good healthy root system so what i'm going to do now is go ahead and get this in the ground where i want it to uh have its uh the rest of its life so let me get after it and for those of you that do a lot of barbecuing uh don't throw this away because uh this makes a real good wood for uh smoking whatever you have on the grill. In fact, even if you do with charcoal, you can throw some of this on top of that charcoal once you get it hot and let it smoke it to give some uh, unique flavor to your cooking. All right, set us new home. Put down plenty of compost. Left some room, you don't wanna uh, take and pile up above where it was planted, so. Uh, I planted it at a depth where it would be sure to uh, not be high up on it. And plus this doesn't have a graph so you don't have to worry about it. But I got to thinking about this little tree and, you know, because I thought it was planted from a seed maybe from one of the apples. But I actually think this is one uh, that I, year before last, I pruned it and I stuck a bunch in the ground just to see what would happen. And I think this is one of them, well, I say a bunch, three or four. But this was one that actually uh, sprouted roots. So that's why it didn't have a, a taproot going down. It came out from the bottom of the limb. But anyway, it's here. And uh, one thing I want to say about planting trees now, for those of you that's older, uh, you know, a lot of people say you plant them for the next person, you know, the... A lot of times you won't get fruit off them, which it takes a few years to get apples. But uh, there are some fruit trees that you can plant that uh, you'll get a lot of that fruit that same year. A fig is one of them. It's uh, really a good producer. And uh, if it's taken care of, watered, fertilized, it'll really put on a big load of fruit for somebody. But anyway, I hope you liked this video, 
if uh, you want to see more, just hit the subscribe, hit the bell button so you'll be notified and give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. That really helps my channel. Happy gardening.